Evelogy. How are you all? In last session, we discussed about a Trello APIs. We discussed about a how to generate a token for a Trello board. From this, we are going to discuss how we can use these APIs in a Postman and what are the activities we are performing. The data will reflect on a Trello board UI or not. So, so let's get started and before that, don't forget to like and share this video with your friend. So this is how our Trello board gonna look like. In last session we created this and uh, to use the API documentation we have to basically search API Trello API documentation and we need to click on these two uh, URLs. Uh, from this site we have generated a power of admin and we have generated API keys and API tokens and this is the documentation but here first we are going to use a demo apis they have de defined as a steps so initial api to start on uh, these are they have provided a direct data a curl and we can directly import uh, but this they have not provided a direct data we have to make api request and we have to pass these parameters for a delete or put or all this request they have basically just provided a url so from this we have to configure the APS but this they have provided direct APS. So first I am going to copy this your API first call. Uh, you have to follow this step on your postman and you have to tell me it is working for you or not in a comment section. So this is gonna be your homework. So first I am going to copy this and I am going on a postman and we are going to create a new postman collection. collection and we have to give a meaningful name Trello API Tutorial English. And then we have to save this collection is created. We can see here the collection is created. We don't have any request. And we are going to the new tab. And whatever curl we have copied, we can paste directly here. So, so there are two ways. Either we can directly paste here. It will automatically configure as a gate or post whatever uh, is type of HTTP method. Or we have to go to the import. We need to click on the import. And here we have to paste the curl. Uh, earlier this option was not there. But now if we are uh, pasting data here it will automatically configured here in this api we can see uh, in a flower basis they have given that we have to pass this data so they have provided a structure of a get request but we don't have api key or api token so this data we have to pass so what i am going to do i am going to the uh, collection level and we are going to add a variables variables we understood in a previous session so if you are not aware how to create a variables then you can refer those videos as well we have generated it three data in last session so those were a key a secret and tokens data i am going to add initial value current value and all this data so i we have to copy this and paste this value so here i have basically added all these values i have stored in a notepad so i copy pasted this data and don't share with anyone else this is the confidential data so i'm going to save this data uh, we have saved the value as a collection otherwise what happens every time we have to copy from the notepad and we have to pass it manually so to avoid that uh, i have added with a collection so simply now first we have to save this request otherwise this data will not reflect so i'm going to click on the save uh, we are giving a meaningful name get all boards and i'm going to a uh, trello api tutorial english and i'm saving this and now we have to pass a value in a double flower basis as I explained. So if I write double flower basis, it will automatically suggest because I have saved this request. If you will not save the request, you won't get this suggestion. So that's why I told first save the API and then add all the dynamic properties. So first is a key. If I select a key, it will automatically reflect. And here also you can see the color has changed. Now I am going to add a token. So again, double flower braces and token. This data has been reflected and straight forward. Now uh, we can click on the send. So I have clicked on the send and we are seeing, we are getting this much data, huge data. Uh, more, it's more than 2000 lines of data. And the whatever boards we have, uh, this data should be there. So for example, I'm uh, copying a teaching plan and here there is option to search bar. So I'm copying, I'm clicking on this search button and if I try to look for the data the data is present here we will understand what are the data uh, but as of now our aim is to execute this API on a postman and we have to make sure that the data is reflecting on a real time 
so teaching plan here we can see but for example let's say i'm updating here the name teaching weekly plan so we should get a teaching weekly plan i am referencing this this data we have already updated the name of the board we have already uh, name of the project we have already updated and now i am trying to make a again api call send and now it should be teaching weekly plan so again i am going to teaching plan it is showing a no result but if i just select teaching see here you can see teaching weekly plan we have updated the name teaching weekly plan so like this we can get all the boards detail now there is another api to get a single board if someone wants to get only single board so there is another api call to get a single board so here we have to pass a id of that board but here we are not passing the id of that board here is a path parameter we are passing id as a board and key and values we are passing as a query parameter you understand this is a path parameter id board here we don't have a path parameter so that is a change between the get all boards and get board api so i'm copying this curl copy and i'm going to again a new tab and pasting this data it will automatically reflect it now i demonstrate you without saving if i write here i'm not getting a key over anything but uh, let me add here key and a token it is showing a unresolved because we haven't saved this api this api has no idea from which collection it needs to pick the data so we have to save this i'm going to again save and giving a proper name get single board and save this so now you can see the data is automatically reflected and here we can able to fetch the value of a key and as well as the token now we have to pass the id of a board so again i am going to pass this id uh, teaching weekly plan and this is the id of that particular project so i am going to copy this and if i pass then i will get only this board data not the entire board data so here in a id column we have to pass we have to remove this and uh, this the url this is how it's gonna look like so earlier one was till up to the member slash me slash boards here boards slash board id and then we are passing a key and token as a query parameter so now if i'm sending this request we are just getting a single board and the response you can see only 129 line and here there was a more than 2000 lines of a json huge bulky json in all the boards but here only single project and for both the get request we are getting a 200 as a status code and it is showing a time and size and everything it is shown so we are able to get all the boards we are able to get single board as well and here again if i change the name so both side it has to be reflected now there is a one more api call uh, to get a specific details so here we got entire board request entire board details like id model and there are huge data for each and every board but for example let's say i want only name and id of that particular board so they have created another api uh, to get this form of a data like a name id url name id url like this so if i copy this and again i'm going to the another tab uh, pasting this it will automatically convert it into get i'm saving this get specific board data get specific board data i'm saving this and we have to pass the api key and api token so i'll i'll show you one more trick so for example let's say here every time you have to pass a multiple key and parameters or whatever data key value pairs you need to pass and a single copy pasting will take a much time so what you can do there is option to bulk edit so just click here bulk edit uh, copy everything uh, go to next next request bulk edit and here we can see the same data we are just removing this and uh, passing like this so it has already reflected now key value edit we can see in a one go we can update multiple key value pairs if there are two values then you have to copy two data and then paste two data uh, if there are 10 data then every time 10 times copy paste copy paste but in this bulk using bulk edit in one go we can do this api will get us all the board details uh, name and field we are passing a two values name and field and if i click on hit here you can see all the data we are just getting a only id so if i copy this id 
and if I search in all the boards, so all IDs should be present there. See, the first ID is present. If I copy the second ID, uh, second ID should be present. See, the second ID is also present. If I copy the next ID, this is the Gnati mobile app ID and this is the board. Uh, so here I can get that project ID as well. So like this, we can use for one purpose, we have multiple APIs. For a single board we need or we need just ID or URL or we need a entire board details. So like this, we can use this API in a postman. So as a homework, I request you to execute this basic API and make sure you are able to execute using your API key and API token. If you are facing any issues, then please help, uh, let me know in a comment section. I will try to resolve the issue because from next video onwards, we are going to add a couple of more APIs. Uh, like uh, here we have a card. So we are going to add multiple cards. And on top of the cards, we are, we are having a multiple activities. So for this all activities, we have different set of APIs. So we are going to add these APIs on a postman. Those API types can be like a put, delete or post update. So initial plan is to will, will work on a card API. We are going to add cards and then we will add some information on a card. And what we will do if I run this particular card API, then the da data should be reflected on a UI. So these things we will see in next session. So that's why I'm telling you first execute basic API using your token. I hope this video was informative and uh, don't forget to like and share this video and don't forget to subscribe Fundo Tester. See you in the next video. Thank you so much.